Welcome back to this series of Black Hat Fast Chats. Terry Sweeney here with Black Hat, and I'm joined now by Don Shin, Senior Product Marketing Manager with ExtraHop. Don, thanks for joining us today. Hey, perfect. Hey, thanks for having me. We've been battling our own sort of virtual pandemic online uh, through the, uh, the the scourge of, of ransomware. That's that's our topic here today. Um, talk a bit, if you would, for the Black Hat audience about what they need to know about combating ransomware. Yeah, I, 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 this is such a fascinating topic. I mean, it, it's so topical. And, and yet I think that for... For IT in particular, there's still a little confusion on how to deal with it. And, and I think that the first thing that we need to recognize is that inside of ransomware, there's really a couple of categories, right? So the traditional one that we hear in the past was about these commercial ransomware. You know, that's that's grandma's photos getting um, encrypted and you know, an extortion. And and largely these are automated types of ransomware. Right. And, and when this happens, you know, I guess what, you know, like for me, if, if I were to call my IT department and say, God, my laptop got ransomed, I've got this, this, uh, you know, this node here, what am I to do? You know, the, the IT department's response is, shame on you, shame on you. Don't sure. click on that. I thought we taught you not to click on that and don't go to those websites and whatnot. But how I think that what's evolving is, and, and we see this because of this ransomware ecosystem, is that. There's this whole nother category that's, that would be best described as IT ransomware, right? And, okay. and, and what this is, is that it's, it's attacking the IT infrastructure. And, and, it, and it's much more traditional in the security sense of land on easy and pivot towards your valuables, right? Right. And uh, yeah, and I think that that's sort of the important part of it. Okay. Now, from a defender's perspective, what we need to see about what's different about this than traditional ransomware is that it really has three parts in its play, right? And, and in the playbook that the attackers are using, there is a, an initial access phase. Then at the very tail end of it is the extortion revelation phase, which is, which is what we kind of obsess around. But reality is there's another portion of it, which is the mid game, right? And this is this is what they're doing as far as p- landing on something easy, right? Whatever mechanism that would be, whether it's phishing or, or whether it's using supply chain, whatever it is, it's easy, but that's not the end objective. The objective is to get to something that's valuable that will increase the probability that the extortion is going to be paid. And that's really the, the, the mid game. So I, I haven't heard that expression, uh, the, uh, the ransomware mid game before. Um, uh, it's uh, it's, it, it's a, a pretty apt distinction. Talk a bit about what the attackers are doing during this so-called mid game. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this, this is the important part of it. And, and, and in mid game, we also have to use the word like dwell time, right? Because that's really, the, the time that we have an opportunity to be able to catch them, right? And, and sometimes people talk about the, the ransom pit land and pivot strategy, and they, they start talking about, well, it's like ATP. Well, you know what? It's not like ATP. ATP is quiet. It, it doesn't want to get discovered. Ransomware, on the flip side, is it tells you it's going it to happen, right? And, and, and it's trying to move as fast as possible so that you don't stop them. But there is a dwell time. Right? And what we hear, like Mandian talks about five days, we see observations from our customers, They're, sometimes it's even faster in the two, three day kind of cycle. But what ransomware is doing during that mid game is one, it's, it's a little loud because it's enumerating, right? It's landed and now it's got to discover what can I exploit, right? And so a little noisy from that perspective. The other thing it has to do is it has to escalate, right? Because usually it's going to land on something that's you know, not so valuable like an IP phone or something like that, but it's got to escalate its privileges and start moving. Then, okay. you know, because of the way ransomware works today is it's also exfiltrating. So it's staging data and, and all of these types of activity. And then lastly, it's going to do the encryption. And of course, if we discover it at the encryption phase, boy, we're, we're already in a lot of trouble, right? Because that note is coming almost immediately. Yeah, it's 11.59 at that point, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What can defenders then do to, to blunt the advantage or to defeat the, the, the perpetrators in this, this mid game? Yeah, and I think this is the really important part of it, right? Is that we need to, the, 
because ransomware has become so prevalent in the percentages of companies that are being exposed around in particular this IT ransomware is they really need to prepare. And, and this is a mindset that needs to be, um, um, be in place for organizations because what, what this also means is, is that, that when we're, when we're going to defend against the mid game, we have to be watching the inside. Right, it's sort of taking a post-compromise type of a posture because the the likelihood that that an attacker can land in the environment is very high. Right, we have this thing in the security world that we call the defender's dilemma, right, which is commonly sort of that's talked about. And the defender's dilemma talks about the that that as a defender, you're you're on you are at a disadvantage. The attacker gets to control the cadence of their attack. They pick what they're going to attack. You have many, many things as posed that can be attacked. And that as a and you have to do all of your investments up front and you have to be right 100% of the time to prevent an intrusion, right? But the flip side to that is, is this idea of the intruder's dilemma, right? Which is that as, a, as a, an attacker, once you land into that environment, right? Now you there are certain types of actions you must do, right? One is you got to figure out where am I, right? And what is it? And I've got to start maneuvering towards the things that are my objective. And 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 this is mathematically, there's actually an advantage for the defender here because there's anomalies start, that start to occur inside of this lateral movement or or these enumeration things. And this is this is exactly the types of things that we as IT have to be watching for is the noisiness and the, you know, so that that whenever we're watching the inside, what's interesting is, is if we understand the behavior of our environments is, is that said, hmm, that looks kind of weird, you know, and and usually what what that almost always is followed with is an aha moment, you know, sort of sort of, yeah. oh my goodness, we, we got a problem. Or, you know, here's a strategy for taking this. So the important thing is is really watching the inside. This general posture we have from a security of crunchy perimeters and gooey insides, that's just not going to work here because sure. we're, we're, just, we're just waiting for the extortion note to come out and then start responding as far as how do I re- recover, right? And so, okay. so that, that's the, main, the most important thing that, uh, okay. that needs to be done today. Don, in, in the short time we have left, tell us a bit about how Extra Hub can help with ransomware. Yeah, yeah. So this this whole idea of this mid game and being um, re- being able to pl- you know fight inside of that mid game is really what what extra hop provides. But more important than what extra hop provides from a network detection and response solution perspective is to understand the fundamentals of how do you do this. Okay, and the first portion of it is the network. The network is so critical when you're wa- looking for things that are moving laterally through the environment. The the e- many of the EDR endpoints or the strategies that are being taken inside, which is like living off of the land, it, it it's 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 legitimate, right? And and the the um so so that sometimes you can't catch these types of things. And the and being able to see the real actions that you can't see from like logs inside of sims or things that are just missing from that perspective. And so so the network becomes really critical when we're talking about the land and pivot types of strategy inside of this mid game. Enumeration is a really good example of it, right? Is it's weird that this particular thing, like an IP phone, it all of a sudden changed the behavior and started scanning scanning for um, file systems or don't you know? Is trying to get escalation privileges around domain admin because remember, inside of the IT ransomware, it's maximizing what is trying to uh, uh, the probability of the, of the extortion payout. Well, how do you do that? Well, you got to make the pain as high as possible, and the vectors for doing that is administ- getting to domain admin, being able to push out malware very very quickly, um, and then as well as being able to compromise databases and file systems, right? And so, so besides a network for the mid-game portion of it, understanding uh, normal is, is a really, really tough um, a proposition unless you have machine learning to be able to identify these kinds of, of behavior, right? And then the last portion of it is, is that there's a, inside of the whole life cycle of, of um, ransomware, there's, there is how do you play the, the beginning? How do you play the mid game? And then how do you do the late phase of the extortion, which is the cleanup? And once again, 
network elements like forensics and whatnot come into a major play inside of it. So, so that's, those are the basic areas of how Extra Hop can help to be able to help um, defenders play that mid game stronger and stop them before they're, they're causing damage. Great stuff, Don. Thanks for helping us uh, think about uh, ransomware uh, in a different way with uh, the mid game model. Uh, appreciate you joining us today for this fast chat. Perfect. It was nice talking to you. We've been talking with Don Shin, Senior Product Marketing Manager for ExtraHop. This has been Terry Sweeney for Black Hat. Thanks for joining us for this. See you next time.